I am Nat. Welcome to the channel. I work in publishing and I also do content and UX copywriting. So for the longest time, like for months perhaps, I've been in a reading slump and I couldn't get past like a few pages of books that I've been reading. Like I would put it down. But um, this month, for the past few days, I've actually managed to finish four books and that's pretty good for me. And I think I know why. It's because I recently bought the Kindle Basic 2022 and ever since I purchased the Kindle Basic, I've been breezing past books. Like I've been reading so much and really enjoying reading. I currently have two Kindles. Uh, one is the Kindle Paperwhite um, and the other is the Kindle Basic, the latest model. I bought my Kindle Paperwhite a few years ago, but I still chose to get the Basic instead of the Paperwhite 5, 11th generation, which is the latest Kindle in the line of Paperwhites. Amazon's new Kindle shares many of the features that make the Kindle Paperwhite terrific, including a sharp screen and USB-C support, but for $40 less. So here are a few main reasons why I chose to buy the Kindle Basic 2022 instead of the latest Kindle Paperwhite 11th generation or the Kindle Paperwhite 5. Uh, yeah, I think that's the latest one, the Kindle Paperwhite 5. First, it's the lightest and most compact Kindle. At 6.2 inches tall, you can easily slide the Kindle into your purse or pocket. It just weighs 5.6 ounces or 159 grams. It's also light enough to forget. You can easily hold it with one hand and which is hard to do with the paper white. Uh, after long stretches of time, uh, my hands or my wrists get tired. Number two, 300 DPI high resolution display. It makes sharp texts and images as sharp as the paper whites. So I think the 300 dpi uh, display is actually the same as the paper whites. So you're not sacrificing quality when purchasing the Kindle Basic. They're both um, at the same resolution. Also, uh, also one of the biggest reasons why I chose the Kindle Basic is that it doesn't have the flush front screen so there it has like bez bezels I, I don't know if that's what you call it but it's not flush front screen and that actually makes it I think clearer and crisper than the paper white that's just something that I personally observe but I don't know if you'll notice it um, when uh, you notice a difference but for me like I do notice it and it removes that sort of filter look that the flush front screen has because the flush front screen sort of has like a filter um, in front of it due to the uh, screen that's put on top the additional screen so that's a big thing uh, that's a big thing for me while I ch why I chose the Kindle Basic. The Without the flush front screen, it reduces glare. I feel like it has less glare than the paper white. And it doesn't have that filter effect like, yeah, like I previously mentioned. It feels crisper and makes it appear more like paper. Okay, the next reason why I chose the Kindle Basic is because it has 16 gigabyte store thousands of books. That is double the storage capacity of the previous generation of the Kindle Basic. At 16 gigabyte, the base models even offer more than storage than the base model. I mean, more storage than yeah the base model of the Kindle Paperwhite, which starts at eight gigabytes also my fifth reason i think it's the fifth reason are we at five now um it has a fully adjustable front light with dark mode so the kindle paper white has this as well but uh 
previous generations of the Kindle Basic didn't have a front light. So I'm pretty happy that their newest model has the front light that's adjustable and also the dark mode, which is great for reading at night or for reading at for reading um, during long stretches of time. Also at number six, the reason why Another reason why is the new send to email feature. I don't think uh, previous models had this, but I usually send um, books to my Kindle or EPUB files and it makes that makes it easier for me. Of course, like buying from Amazon is still uh, the more intuitive approach, but when I do send uh, files to my Kindle, the send to email feature is really handy. Also, um, at number seven, it operates faster for me I mean I when I um, put my Kindle Paperwhite and Kindle Basic side by side I notice a difference um, the response time of the Kindle Basic seems to be faster and since it's one of the more recent Kindles to come out it seems to work faster than the Paperwhite even the Paperwhite 5 watching a few videos here on YouTube comparing the two because the Paperwhite 5 came out in 2021, I think, which is before the Kindle Basic, the latest model comes out, which is in 2022. Okay, so there are a few things that the Kindle Basic doesn't have and which the Kindle Paperwhite has, like waterproofing or an adjustable front or rather an adjustable temperature for its front light because the paper white 5 has the warm temperature which um, some people might like but which I personally don't use so I I'm okay with the front light however uh, the Kindle's front light only has four LEDs as opposed to the Kindle paper white 17 but I don't really notice the difference between the two because the Kindle Basic still seems bright enough for me and I don't really mind it having less LEDs. So there you have the reasons why I chose the Kindle Basic over the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, I was actually considering getting the Kindle Paperwhite and I was close to buying it but I really, most of all, really love the compact size. It's easy to slip into your bag and um, yeah. I'm really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps um, if you're considering the Kindle Paperwhite or the Kindle Basic. I forgot to film an outro. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have anything to add or if you prefer the Kindle Paperwhite, let me know. Um, thanks, bye!